All right, what's up, y'all? I'm giving y'all a quick tour of my classroom environment here at Kip Memphis Collegiate Middle. Uh, first of all, I have uh, my little wall out here on my students. And this is just random pictures that we took all year. And I got pictures on this side. Ooh, my kids see me right there clowning. Some of the kids in my home room. And then some of their scores, different weekly exams that they took, that they've been excelling on. They've been killing it. Proud of them. And this is the teachers on my hall. Miss Kelly Sam, Miss Frazier, Miss Collins, Miss Ainge, and myself. And some more tests over here. And some more over here. And these are some sample questions I put in the hallway that they can review while they're transitioning to different classes. Um, they've been killing them. Proud of these kids. I really am. I'm excited. They're going to kill this test. All right. Here's the entrance to my classroom. UAPD. My home. You can forgive that. It broke off the wall. This is my home room right here. And then my door. All right. Here's the entrance to my classroom. Um, my little health station. I got tissue and wipes and shea butter. They be ashy and, and uh, they allergies be bothering them and all that. So I got the tissue and stuff out. Um, over here are calculators we use for different problems. Like we do uh, the laws of motion and all of that. So they use the calculators to help them out. Um, I try to teach it where they won't have to use calculators. That's the best thing you do, you know. All right, my bulletin board for my classroom is some information about my college, which is UAPB, uh, the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, um, where we are the flagship of the Delta, where technology plus know-how equals success. <laughs> Education with a personal touch. <laughs> um, here's some information. Uh, that's the choir, man. UAPB, best choir, woo, 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 woo. Internationally known. It's a little fun facts about the school. Some information about me as well. Um, currently, we are studying parts of a flower. So here's a picture of a flower I drew on the board, and some um, the parts of it, and like some quick facts about each part. They already have their notes on it. It's just some information that they can refer to from time to time until we switch units. Um, like again, we are getting ready for the TCAP. The science TCAP is April 30th. They are ready. Uh, we got one more skill to brush up on. We're going to do some review. I'm excited. These are my standards I wrote on the board. These are all review standards. Uh, the 84 and the 96 in parentheses are combined class averages. So they've been killing it. Um, I've been doing a whole lot of um, review with them on that. Uh, right here is just another bulletin board in my classroom. Uh, our big goal for the year, all students will score 80% or higher on all assessments and will show two and a half years of growth in science based on the MAP assessment. The MAP assessment is a test they take here at Kip Memphis Collegiate Middle where they uh, periodically assess students um, on mastering certain skills. Uh, the science test is on the computer um, and this is some of their data from the last science exam. Uh, the data wall, we have the UAPB, my homeroom, University of Memphis, we got Rose College, and we got FAMU, Ms. Collins' homeroom, Rose is Ms. Kellison, University of Memphis is Ms. Ainge, and UAPB is my homeroom. So this is a quick data wall, another panoramic view of my class. We're slowly getting around to the other side of the room. All right, right here on the table, uh, we have some supplies from a uh, lab we did on minerals. Different minerals are inside the boxes that we have used, and the kids really enjoyed these experiments working with some of these minerals. They learned a whole lot. Um, they're able to tell me different things. Some graduated cylinders for density exams. Um, we have color pencils and markers for when they make diagrams. As you can see, there's one right there a student did where they have to explain things. Um, right here are copies of the textbook that we use from time to time. Um, I really don't believe in giving a lot of book work, uh, hands-on creativity, a lot of explanation, uh, making things fun and funny. You know, they tend to remember it better. Um, I crack a lot of jokes in my lesson, um, so they always remember them. Um, these are some of the desks. 
Uh, some of them are numbered. Um, time went by, some of the numbers came off, of course. But the numbers are specific for seating arrangements. And I have the desk arranged in a certain pattern. I have these facing this way, those facing that way, and the same thing on that side of the room. All right, right here is my job info. Uh, each class has a list of students. They have jobs. The date on that is old, but the uh, the actual names on the list are current. So these students know that when they come into the room, that if they're in job of the computer, they usually go to the computer and get ready to control the computer for the day. If they are a sweeper, they make sure that everyone make sure the floor is clean before they leave out. They make sure that no materials left on the floor. Fire hazard, we don't have time for that. Um, and of course, it changes from week to week or every other week depending on um, the students. Now, if one of these students get in trouble, get suspended, get into um, detention, they are stripped of their job duty for that week and they have to earn that right back. So it's just not given to random people. They have to do what they have to do. That's a random post about uh, rocks and, and some motivating uh, facts. Right here is my dry erase markers is where I have my do now sheets for the week. And on the do now sheet, these are questions that they have to ask, answer every day. Um, they write the answer, write the question and the answer, and they also have to do explanation on the back and random dry erase markers. And some random whiteboards that they need. And on this bookshelf is random old assignments. Students know that they're missing. Uh, they receive a report where they're missing assignments. They know to come in and get it. And if it's not there to ask me, I always print it off for them. Um, most students do try to catch up on their work when they're out. Um, this is my desk. Don't laugh at it. It looks a mess. Uh, I got some papers that I have graded, some that I need to grade. Um, so just don't laugh. Some information about simple machines. I'm going to take this off the wall because they mastered this so quick. I had a week blocked out for it, but they mastered it in like two days. So I'm about to take this off the wall and put some TCAP information over here. But these are some things about simple machines. Uh, got this box fan going to get some of that cool air from outside. These are the lockers inside the classroom, and I made name tags to go on all the lockers. Um, the students know what locker is theirs because their name is on it. And um, some of them are doubled up because I have a large homeroom and don't have enough lockers, but that's common. So they're doubled up. I let them choose who they want to pair up with. Um, some of the lockers with no name on them, they're jammed. I've been working on trying to get them open. These are some of the things about the school, some, uh, some voice levels, uh, slant. When you're in class, you got to sit up, you listen, you ask questions, you nod, you understand, and you track. If you see everybody uh, sitting, up, uh, sitting up, you sit up. Um, if there's a time where we're done taking an exam, automatically, no heads go down, you're taking out a book and you're silently reading, or you're working on another assignment. Um, usually I have those things ready. Um, two computers, uh, a student was here earlier doing some work, so that's why all that is uh, all spread out all over the desk. But two computers right here. Um, you never know how much you can do until you try. I tell them that all the time. Um, this is some information that we are uh, want to review for the um, TCAP exam that's coming up. Uh, the students have to be ready. So this is just some uh, some things that they have already mastered. We're just going to go over. Um, they have to make sure that they know exactly what they are doing. Um, again, I do a PowerPoint every day. Um, this is talking about the parts of a flower. Um, smart board is the best thing. All I gotta do is touch the screen and all the answers come up. I love it, I love it, I love it. It's the best thing ever. I love smart board, my projector's up there. Ooh, it's dusty. Then I have the, another set of big goals for the classroom that they have to do. Um, some whiteboard protocol, have the daily objective, uh, the agenda, what we do. Um, inside of that 40 minute block where we're talking about parts of a flower that involves discussion, that involves practice, all of that information, closing an exit ticket, you know, why a flower is important, uh, so on and so forth. And this changes from day to day. Um, of course, I have the date, I have the classwork up here, the homework, and some random posted notes about this, the five physical layers of the earth. They came up with a mnemonic device for it, help them remember in the three layers. We are currently on an intervention schedule, don't laugh at it. The highlighted part is my class, so I know where they are if I need to pull them out. And some other information. So again, this is some quick facts about my classroom. Woo, go to lines, go. 
uh, my flower I drew on the board <laughs> and the standards that we're covering uh, for review purposes. Uh, data wall, desk, another computer's over there, job duty walls in the back, and then my desk, my little dusty rug down there. Um, in this classroom, oh, I almost forgot, in the top of the ceiling, there are my rules, consequences, and procedures. They're up there, they know to follow those. Those have been there since I came to this location. They follow them for the most part. Sometimes I have to go off and click. I don't like doing it, but it is what it is. Um, also, at the top of the ceiling, I have my word wall hanging out of the ceiling. Um, usually when the fan is on, um, they rotate. They catch their attention. They're colorful. They're bright. And they tend to look up to those words a lot, especially when we're discussing. And I think it helps out a lot. It adds a little dynamic feature to the classroom and that the students enjoy. Oh, a poster falling off the wall. Shame. But this, again, is a quick view of my classroom. Um, I really hope you enjoy watching this video. Um, we do a lot of work in this class, but also there are times where we just relax and talk about life. Um, it's important that we make that connection, um, not only focusing on work all the time, um, but also just focusing on life. And I think that's some of the reason why, uh, not to toot a horn or anything, but I think that's some of the reason why um, I'm, I have been blessed so far to be as successful as I have been in my classroom with test scores, with establishing a positive rapport with the students. And, and that makes a difference, a whole difference. I also almost forgot, I have my little accommodation chart and my intervention strategies that I use for uh, my lower level classes or students that just want that one-on-one -on -one time where they need some extra help, I just use these things to help guide me through giving them information that they need and these things work. I'm telling you, if you ever work in a school system and you have a chance to get these from Mentoring Minds, use them. They are a blessing. Well, again, this is me, uh, Mr. Williams. I'm signing off. Um, a quick panoramic view of my classroom. Um, I hope you enjoy watching um, any educators out there, anyone that have any um, positive or whatever opinions that I can use to help me even master my uh, profession even more, feel free to let me know. Post, let me know something. Um, I'm definitely open all ears and eyes to growing. So, again, this is me signing off. Peace, Holly.